Uh, You're a veteran, I, Vietnam veteran. Yes, wow. Uh, I have a question for you. Yeah, where did you serve, by the way? I served uh, in the Army in 1966, 1967. 66 to 67. I was, uh, let's see, I would have been a... Uh, um, Some college kid. Uh, I was just getting out of college. I graduated from high school in 65. 65, and then I went to college for a year, and then I served my church for a couple of years. We're the same age. Yes, we are. We're the same age. Uh, Appreciate your service. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, New Hampshire right now has uh, some legislation kicking around about appeal uh -huh. for the same-sex marriage. Yes. Uh, and all I need is a yes or a no. Okay. Do you support? I support the repealing. Repeal? I support the repeal of the New Hampshire law. I believe marriage is between a man and a woman. That's my view. Okay. That means that if you're in the White House, you will not support. Uh, any form of legislation that would change that so that servicemen would be uh, entitled to benefits like a man and a woman. Uh, if two men get married, uh, apparently a veteran's spouse would not be entitled to any burial uh, benefits or medical benefits or anything that the serviceman has uh, devoted his time and effort to his country. Uh, and you just don't support equality in terms of uh, same-sex marriage. I believe that marriage is a relationship between a man and a woman. Meaning? And the, Depar and the uh, Defense of Marriage Act uh, that exists in Washington uh, today defines uh, uh, benefits, uh, for whether for veterans or for non-veterans, as between uh, married spouses, and for me, that's a man and a woman. And, and we apparently well, disagree it's on that. Know, it's good to know how you feel that that's you do right. not uh, believe that uh, uh, everyone is entitled to their constitutional rights. No, actually, uh, I, I, think, uh, well, at the I time, think you're... you're I think at the time the Constitution was written, it was pretty clear that marriage is between a man and a woman, and I don't believe the Supreme Court has changed that. Governor, we got to get on with Fox News right now. Okay. Oh, I guess the question was too hot. No, I gave you the I'll answer. I'll have a good day. You said you, had, you said you had a yes or no answer. I give you the yes. You did, and I appreciate your answer. And Thank you. you know, I also learned something, and uh, New Hampshire is right. You have to look a man in the eye to get a good answer. And you know what, Governor? Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day to you, You're sir. You're going to need it. <laughs> Thank you. You are right about that. <laughs> Thanks. Good to meet you. Thanks, guys. Good have to see you. Thank you. You too. Right Okay. Yeah. So, Bob, what did you think of uh, his answer, Bob? Uh, he's not getting my vote. <laughs> what is Can you elaborate he, just, he, he told me that uh, I'm not entitled to constitutional rights. I think a man and a woman and a man and a man should be treated equal. What the hell's the difference? So were you undecided coming in today? Well, I was undecided. I'm totally convinced today that he's not going to be my president, at least in my book. At least Obama uh, will entertain the idea. This man is, no way, Jose. Well, take your no way, Jose, back to Massachusetts. Why do you feel so strongly about this? Because I'm gay, all right? And I happen to love a man just like you probably love your wife, all right? And I think that he or she or whatever are entitled to the same rights that I have. I went and I fought for my country. I did my thing. And I think that my spouse should be entitled to the same entitlement said if I was married to a woman. What the hell is the difference? As you were talking to the governor here, were you offended by his answer? Were Absolutely, I was definitely offended. He doesn't even open the door to, to a conversation. It's just a boom. But I did ask him yes or no. Um, so, I, you know, I got what I asked for. Are you a